Hi everyone and welcome to week 5 of Graphic Design 2. I'm going to go ahead and take you through the weekly walkthrough and talk about all the deliverables for the week. This week we'll be discussing professional presentations of the graphic design deliverables. Methods for staging, producing, and mocking up completed designs will be discussed as well as the standards for professional visual presentation in creative fields and for client interactions. By the end of this week, you should be able to produce a full visual presentation of artwork from ideation through completion. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of breakdown on the module this week. There's not a whole lot of content this week. It's pretty light because everybody will be working on their final presentation for what we've been working on the past few weeks. So there's not a whole lot here as far as extra work because we'll be kind of grinding that out. So under the learn section, you can read through the art of presenting creative work. It's an article. It's a little bit of an older article, but it's still pretty good. And then um, this is a LinkedIn learning resource. So if you don't already have your login for that, you can watch that. I'm also going to give you one, an extra um, couple of links in the announcement area as well for the mock-ups. All right. And then this week we'll be doing the final presentations on the project that we've been working on for the past few weeks and then the wrap up. All right, so let's go over the spec sheet first. So if you have looked at the assignment, you can see that this is the final portion of the social good concept. So I downloaded the assignment spec sheet to be able to go over it with you all. So what we'll be doing now is wrapping up all the work that we've been doing. So you'll be executing all major deliverables for the project using the appropriate software as needed. Final designs must be mocked up in context for, for inclusion in the final presentation. For example, the outdoor ad must be mocked up in its intended location to provide context for how the design works in its environment. So what that means, for example, is if you did a billboard design, you're not just going to want to have just your PDF of the billboard. You're going to want to take that final design and pop it into a mock-up of what it would look like in its environment. So if it's a billboard on the side of the road or if it's a standing like bus sign, something like that, that you're gonna wanna put that so that me, the client, will be able to understand exactly where it's supposed to live. Final projects will be presented using Adobe Spark Video. Spark doesn't exist anymore, it is now Express, but I will get into that. Um, the video should be client ready and professional quality. So a note about the mockups. If you search free graphic design mock-ups or free billboards and things like that, you'll find all kinds of resources. Again, I'm going to give you some links to uh, some different places that you can get them. So you should be able to pop your final artwork into the mock-ups and be able to use them. Um, but you don't have to use just mine so that everybody's work doesn't look exactly the same. But it's just something so that you can kind of have like a good starting point if this is completely new to you. Um, so the final instructions. You'll be executing all major deliverables. Mock up the completed files to show how they will be used in context. Uh, we're not using Spark, we're using Express. I'm also open, like if you know Premiere or another video software, definitely feel free to use that. However you want to export your file um, to give it to me, I'm fine with. Um, like if you want to do QuickTime, I'm, you know, if you have questions on it, feel free to email me. Um, so your video specs, it should be no longer than two minutes. So I'm going to take you through the website in the next little video on how to use Adobe Express because Sparks, there's a typo in their spec sheet. That's not my spec sheet. Um, you'll be signing in using the LU username. We'll go through some of this stuff when we get there. So just let's look at the required components. Um, each page of the presentation should have your intro to your problem on the first slide your research and your proposed design solution on the next slide, process sketches and drafts, one to two slides, most likely two, and then your final renderings of each component. So you should have your final logo, your editorial spread, and any of your media components, your print ad, your social media ad, your outdoor ad, each one on its own slide. Okay, And then you're going to give a full voiceover description and talk about exactly why you created the work. All right. So this is where the video editing comes in, which I'm going to walk you through in the next video. I'm going to show you a little bit about Adobe Express if you've never used it. It's super easy. 
Again, you don't have to use Express. If you're comfortable with video software, use your own, most likely Premiere for anyone that already knows video. Okay, you want to make sure your links work because at the end it'll actually create a video for you where you can just give me a web link to it and um, you want to make sure that that works and paste it into a new browser window, you know, test it out before submitting it. Okay, and then lastly, you're also going to give me PDFs of the work. So you'll give me a web link where I can see the video presentation and then you'll also give a PDF with your logo, your editorial spread, your print ad, social and outdoor ad. And then, of course, in the final PDF would be your, your video presentation. So this is the big thing right here. Okay? So let's go ahead. I'm just going to take you through one more thing. And then the next video I'm going to do something on Express just to give you a little bit of a walkthrough. Because it is new and it's not, like, again, Spark is Spark kind of died out. Um, so this is the, on my end, this is the rubric for the project and something that I want to talk about because I'm noticing a lot of people are losing a lot of points on this not so much the design aesthetics yes if you have just a blank document for your presentation and it's not quote nice looking you lose a little bit of points here um, you know you want your type and your layout to be clear in the presentation you want to not miss any of the steps you know treat the spec sheets like a checklist and that is the best way to make sure you won't miss anything Okay, execution is probably the number one problem for the final project here. You want to make sure that you're not missing anything like mock-ups. So where it says here, all deliverables are mocked up or staged in context. You know, if you did an editorial spread, have it look like it's in a magazine. If you did a billboard, mock it up on a billboard. Um, if you did a website, show it on a like you could show it on a computer or where it would exist in like a Facebook page if it's a social ad like really kind of just think out of the box where does this live and that's what you want to show for the execution portion of it okay and then of course the video presentation at the bottom that is you know of course the most important thing besides this okay I'm gonna stop here and in the next video I'm gonna take you through Adobe Express and kind of how to use it